All right, gang. I'm going to be real with you. This is the third, fourth time I've tried recording this. First time because there just wasn't enough content. Second time, the audio quality was bad. And third time, uh, my brother knocked on my door to interrupt me for something that just was not relevant. It just was not important enough. All right. Fourth time. Let's fucking just get this over with. God damn, I've been wanting to do this for like years. We're going to start with the fast food, casual fast food sort of like dining places tier. And I'm just going to start with uh, putting everything I've never had in the never had category because there's a lot of shit I've just never had. A&W, never had. Mostly because it, I'm pretty sure there's a soda that's named after that. But what do you want to do? Have soda food? No. Baja Fresh, never had. Blimpy, never had. I legitimately thought it was Subway, just rebranded for a little while. I don't know what Bojangles is. Uh, never had Cookout, never had Del Taco. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Never had Jollibee. And to be honest, I don't trust him. Look at him. Ugh. Never had Long John Silvers, but that's more out of like... That's like, I had the opportunity. In fact, I think I had the opportunity for A&W as well. I think it was like a combine of those two. Like sort of like a, a KFC Pizza Hut situation. But... Long John Silver's does not sound good. That does not sound enticing. Like fast food seafood? No. That sounds awful. I'll pass. Uh, never had Moe's. Never had Noodle Company. Never had PDQ. Or Penn Station. In fact, I didn't even see the subtitle there. East Coast Subs. Not once. Never had Potbelly. Kidoba? I think. Kidoba. Never had Roy Rogers. I, I don't even know what that would be. Zbaro... I would imagine is pizza. Uh... Never had Sheets. Or Skyline. What the fuck is Swenson's? Torchies just feels like it'd be a worse Jollibee based on them being little two little red mascot characters. Never had Wawa. Um Never had Wiener Schnitzel. I've definitely never had just wings. And I think that's everything I've never had. Now there's exactly one of these things that immediately belongs uh, in a category, and I'll just I'll just go ahead and uh, I would I would imagine most of you would agree that uh, just kidding. Fuck that shit. Why would you want to eat those translucent patties that taste like shit? They're like fucking French fries, or like. They're not french fries. They're like... I feel like I'm eating like twigs off a tree. Fuck that. Five guys... Are, no, in and out <laughs> Sorry. I associate them as the same thing, I guess. in and out is fucking nasty. Never eat an in and out Literally anything else is better. <laughs> Arby's... They, they get a D simply because their dessert is okay. Boston Market... I, I don't have strong opinions one way or another. Burger King gets a C because their french fries are super fucking good and you can get ices there. Uh, Raisin Cane's, uh, D. It's not good. It's not good chicken, but it's chicken. Carl's Jr. 
Also a D because of the desserts. Checkers. Eh, do I want to be nice or do I want to be accurate? Uh, you know, I'll say C for now. Just because, like, I've only been to Checkers once and I thought it was okay. Chick-fil-A belongs in F. Fuck your religious bullshit. Not open Sunday. Fucking gives to fucking radicals in in South Africa where they fucking genocide people and do conversion shit. Fuck that. No. The day they stopped uh, will be a very the, the day the day literally somebody's like cool stoner son takes over and is like uh we could maximize profits by selling on Sunday and stop being pieces of shit is the day we should rejoice but until then they belong in F Chipotle F simply because they fucking you go in there you want a burrito and you say you want a burrito and they just give you the beans and rice and it's just like dude no give me the fucking tortilla what the fuck are you doing churches is a c for churches because it all right but it, it'll never be great culver's is a solid b for me uh you know they know exactly they stay in their lane they know exactly what they're making they're a better dairy queen Denny's is a C because I honestly feel like there's some pretty good Denny's shit, but they're just having a hard time competing with uh, IHOB. Domino's Pizza. The only thing they got going for them uh, is their pricing. Dairy Queen. All they got going for them is their desserts. El Pollo Loco. Actually, not that bad, so I'll put it in C. Firehouse Subs, there's a reason I've only had that once. Five Guys, there's a reason I've only had it once. IHOP. I'll put in B simply because out of all the, the restaurants and shit that are open, um, this one has stayed open late, which has been a fucking godsend whenever I've had like late night travels. Jack in the Box, a fucking D because of its desserts. Jersey Mike's, pretty good, pretty good Philly cheesesteaks. Jimmy John's, fuck that shit. KFC. Oh, Colonel has 11 herbs and spices, uh, but needs to keep cranking out meme ads so people will pay attention to them. Little Caesars is the best. I don't care what any of you say. I'm so fucking tired of McDonald's. Uh, Panda Express. I mean, you get what you pay for. <laughs> Panera. I don't know anyone who goes to Panera to actually eat. Like, I, like, they have really good bagels and maybe, like, a grilled cheese every once in a while. But, like, I don't know who goes to, like, Panera for, like, lunch and shit or dinner. Like, who does that? Papa John's is an F because the guy said the, the, the gamer word. We don't fucking know. I'm, what I like most about this picture is that they removed his face from it. Pizza Hut is a C because... Eh. Popeyes is an A. It's it's the best. The best, baby. Portillo's. There's a reason I've only been there once. <laughs> Quiznos? Actually, not bad. Uh, I remember going to a Quiznos near my house when I was younger. And my mom would take me, and I would get like a uh, like a a big sandwich with French fries, and it was awesome. Uh, Schlotzkis. These are only good when they're connected to a Cinnabon. So F, because it doesn't have the Cinnabon. <laughs> Shake Shack. C. Sonic is a definite the best. You can get. What do, you call, what, they, what do they call them? Like, not Frosties, not Icies, Slushies. You can get all the different fucking Slushies. You can get, like, the, the Sonic Blasts. You can sit in your car without having to worry about feeling like a weirdo, because that's what their main deal is. It's perfect. 
Not to mention, get yourself a Sonic Blast, Tater Tots, uh, and a fucking good old Coney, and you've got the perfect meal. Steak and Shake. Reason I've only been there once. Subway. F because Jared is a piece of shit. Taco Bell is definitely a B because, you know, to be honest, I, I don't really love Taco Bell, but God damn, do I eat way too much Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Cabana, like there's not a Taco Cabana where I live, but every time I go visit home, uh, I stop by Taco Cabana like at least a good couple of times because I just go in for all them uh, breakfast tacos and I'm fucking, I'm, I'm set. I'm set for life. Waffle House, uh, is good, but I don't want to get shot, so see. Wendy's is the best. Whataburger? You know what? I'll put it in the best, too, because, you know, uh, before pandemic, pre-pandemic, it was the cheapest place to get food. And that's why I loved it. I, I would go there and I would spend $7 on a meal. And I would be fucking set. Nowadays, that's changed. They've at least doubled their prices since then. But, you know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we can call the, we can collectively call out every company on their bullshit about their inflation charges. Uh, when they're just trying to be greedy. And everything can go back to normal price-wise. But who knows? Probably not. White Castle was disappointing. Wingstop, reason I've only been there once. Zaxby's, reason I've only been there once. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, I'd say that this is uh, this is my general feelings on on foods. Let's move on to Blaze Blue characters. Now. I'm gonna forget a good couple of these names here. <laughs> so, you just gotta bear with me. Ragna the Blood Edge. Pretty good boy. Izanami. Kinda boring. I'm gonna put her in C. Kokonoe is an S tier character. She's just that great. Celica is kind of a B. She's a little boring herself, but you know. She, she's cute, you know. Iron Tiger. Little bit boring. Hazuma, pretty entertaining, until he becomes Yuki Terumi in all their variations, so fuck that. Hakumen, pretty boring. He's just like, I am the white steel that will purge th the world in a white flame, and it's just like... Okay. I think this chick's name is Mai. I've, n I've never gotten to her in any of the story modes, so... That's where she goes. I think this guy's name is Mootski, and he's just like, Hi, I'm the... I'm like Ragna, but like in the opposite kinda. And I'm just like, oh. Okay. Naoto Kurogane. Uh, I like him because his, his last name is the opposite of Naoto Shirogane from Persona, and I like Persona 4 a lot. Bullet has a nice ass, so, sh so she's going in A. Carl Clover, pretty good character. I like him. Relius is just the same character, but, you know, less interesting. Boring. Nine, I've got to put her in D because she fucked a cat. Like, I get, like, in the world of Blaze Blue, like, there's different kinds of species that have evolved, but, like, he's too, he's too cat-like for me to consider him Anthro. That being said, Jubei is an S. Uh, what, uh, Platinum the Trinity, the original, uh, she didn't really do much. She's just like, I'm going to take over every 89th time in the story mode. So yeah, Platinum the Trinity, the, the, the main character in the Blaze Blue games, uh, I, I'd say she's a solid B. She was entertaining enough. I think this is supposed to be another Platinum the Trinity sort of situation. 
but I don't know enough about it to say anything, so it's going in D only because I don't know enough. Amane's my boy. Put him up there. I think this guy's name is Azriel. It was either Azriel or Beliel or something L. But Ugh, excuse me. I had dinner. Um, I think he was the first canon gay character in Blaze Blue. So he gets to be in B for but actually I don't know if he's actually talking about eating people or, or fucking them. So he scares me, so he goes in B. Lychee goes in B for boob. Uh Jin is a creep, so he goes in C. <laughs> Bang Shishigami goes in S. That's my boy. That's my guy. All he wants to do is make Lychee like him, and she's just like Oh, okay. Uh, Tao Kaka is also an S character because of how fucking cool she is. One of my favorite moves to spam is her, like, wall jumping one. So, just doing that, like, eight or nine times where she's like, yeah, flying across the screen is, is pretty fun. Rachel, Alucard, not interesting. Valkenhayn, on the other hand, quite interesting. Arachne is pretty up there. He's also a very fun character to play. I don't know who this is. Um. Noel goes in S. All of these go in A. Just because they're all, like, they're all related somehow. All these characters. Plus this one. But she's the boring one. Speaking of boring, we're just going to do this with all the dolls. <laughs> I forget what his name is. I think it's like... Hibiki or something. And he's basically... Uh, where is he? This guy's Yes Man, so I'll put them right next to each other because they're secretly lovers. But anyway, um... She has a big fucking sword and I think that's pretty awesome, so she goes in A. <laughs> Makoto is another girl who gets to go in S. Uh, but Tsubaki, sadly, is C, D. But I'll be nice and put her this form, which I think is also her, in A. <laughs> Alright. We're done with Blaze Blue characters. Why don't we go on to Pokemon from Gen 1? Now, first things first, I'm, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to put every um, Mega I can find in the D category uh, so I can, you know, get to them later. I don't think they, like, this, like, this first section is just me ranking regular ass Gen 1 Pokemon. I don't think I should have to rank them alongside Megas. I just think that's not a good idea. Uh, and then after I do that, I'll, I'll rank everything uh, accordingly. But uh, let's see how far we can get with this. Is that really the next one? Huh. Uh, huh. I'm sure I'm going to like miss one during this initial, like, setup phase. Okay, and last one, I think. So, right off the bat, uh, Bulbasaur goes in A, because he's one of the goodest boys. Ivysaur goes in B. Venusaur goes in D. Not, well, uh, you know what, C. Charmander is in A, for sure. Charmeleon is C. Charizard is an S. <laughs> Squirtle is a B. Wartortle is a D. Blastoise is uh, another A. And that's a good boy. And that's a good boy. And that's a good boy. But that's also a good boy. Uh, but that's an even better boy. This is kind of a lame boy. You know what? No, I like him better than that. 
Uh, lame. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking lame. This one's cute. Not as cute. Definitely not as cute. Alright, I don't hate it. Um... Kinda lame. Better, definitely better. I hate Pikachu so goddamn much, but I love Raichu. Sandslash, or Sandshrew, and Sla Sandslash can go in the same one. Nidoran Girl is definitely down there. <laughs> Nido Queen is up there. Uh. Yeah, I think, yeah. No, I feel like this is right. Uh, what is that? Clefairy and Clefable? Let's see. Let's put you... in C. And put you... in... Mm, mm. Yeah, also C. I don't... I don't like Vulpix. Ninetales, on the other hand, is up there. Uh, yeah. But this one is definitely an A. <laughs> You are a B, and you are a D for dunce. Oddish is a B. Gloom is a C. Vile Plume is an A. This is definitely a, a, a D, but this is a B. I really like Vananat. Venomoth, not so much. Uh, any... You know what? I think I should just do that real quick, too. All of these ones where they're just, like, more, they automatically just get C tier, because I don't hate... <coughs> I don't hate any of these designs. I just think they're lazy. Alright. Back to it. Meowth. Uh, you know what? Pretty good design. Don't really care for Persian. Like Psyduck, love Golduck. Mankey is up here. I think Primeape's in the same level. Don't like Growlithe. Arcanine? Uh, 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 yeah, an S. I'd say an S. Poliwag. Poliwhirl. Poliwrath. I think they're, they're just a solid lineup. Uh... Abra and Kadabra, but Alakazam goes down here because, like these guys, all they did was give him a spoon. And then they removed the star, which made Kadabra, you know, and the little lines that made him, like, uh, recognizable. Forget that. <clears throat> uh, yeah. But you go down here. Bellsprout is pretty cute. I do not trust Weepin' Bell. Victory Bell, on the other hand, is an A. <clears throat> Never liked them. Geodude, Graveler goes down here. Golem is up here, baby. Ponyta, pretty cute. Rapidash, even better. Uh... Yeah, no, both of these are A's to me. <coughs> Farfetch'd is a B. What is this, Dugong? It's Dugong, then Seal. I like both. I like both enough to put uh, to feel comfortable putting them in B. Um, gosh. You never know how much you actually do until you, you look at the list again. Okay. Muck. No, Grimer. Um, C. Yeah, also C. Shelter is definitely a B. Cloister is a D. <laughs> Ghastly. Gengar. Haunter. 
And that's just always been a personal preference of mine. Uh, don't like Onyx. Not from an evolutionary standpoint, not from a design standpoint, not really anything. Don't really like him. Drowsy is a C, but Hypno gives me old, creepy, touchy-feely vibes, so he goes in D. And you know who else joins him? Mr. Mime, just because I brought it up. And you know who else joins them? Jinx, just because I brought it up. This was not a good generation for psychic types. <clears throat> now, back to it. Um, Krabby... Uh, you know, I like Krabby. Kingler, on the other hand, not so much. And that's where they belong. Nothing was lazier than that design, and I hate it. I'm actually alright with these guys. Uh, yes, my boy. My other boy. I think that was when this Hitmon Lee and this one's Hitmon Chan, right? No, I forget. Whatever. Look at Tong, a uh, B. Pretty boring design. Ride on can. Is he? Nah. Really cute, so you can go and B. Tangla can go and B. Kangskhan can go and B. <laughs> You will go in C, but you will go in A. Uh, yes. I hate that so much. Um. Yeah, that's the best I can do for them. Scyther is an S. Electabuzz is not. And neither is Magmar. <laughs> Pinsir, on the other hand... I think he belongs in A. Tauros, I never hated it. And these two belong in S. Lapras is definitely an A. Ditto is a solid B for me. Eevee is an A. Now to rank these guys. Um... B, C, A. Porygon is an S. I I hate this guy, but I love this guy. Uh, and likewise, I like this guy, but unlike the other guy, I super like him. This guy can go and see. Snorlax is definitely an S. I don't like rare Pokemon. I just, I don't. You're a D because you're a fire chicken. You're a B because you're a bird. I'd say you're also a B. Pretty cute. Pretty great. Really all I can give you is that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And there you go. Now. We're going to do the Megas. So, I actually don't hate this one. I think it belongs in B. Uh, this one is definitely an S-ranked one, because look at it. This one I thought was lazier, so you can go in B. This one I thought was pretty cool. A. I thought this one is the better Pidgeot. Just, like, if they took Pidgeot and gave him this these colors instead of what they gave him, it would be a better Pokemon than regular Pidgeot. This is an S. This is not. And this is an S. I'd say this one is an A. This one is a B. This one is 
Mm, you know what? I'll give it an A because I, I think I like it more than regular. And this one is an S. And this one stays here. And this one is an A. But I like this one enough to put it in B. Now if I were to make teams out of Pokemon, let's see what we could do here. Arcanine, Golem. <clears throat> ooh, 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 Arcanine, Golem, Beedrill. Snorlax. Gyarados. And Raichu. Gyarados and, and Slowbro are, are actually pretty interchangeable for me. I like them both that much. Next tier. Let's see what I can get. Uh, Rapidash, Victory Bell. Blastoise, Pidgeot. So already a pretty good lineup, I think. Add Gengar in there. And either Nido Queen or Nido King, and I think it's a pretty solid lineup. Polyrath. Execute. Machamp. Machoke? Machop, Machamp, Machoke. So, yeah. Machoke. Um... Let's see... I guess Kangaskhan... Dugong... And Zapdos, fuck it. Uh, Venusaur, Dragonite, Pidgeot, <laughs> Alakazam, Kingler, and I guess Mewtwo. What do we have to work with here? Uh, Tentacruel, Mew, Moltres, Aerodactyl, Machamp, or er, Hitmonchamp, and Venomoth, I guess? Yeah. I guess that's that's what we would have to work if I had to make teams out of all these. Okay. Let's go on to the last and final and fucking just as difficult one as all of these. Pokemon character list. So much more. I think what I'm going to do is much like the... Um, Much like the, um, uh, 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 um, fast food list, anyone I don't know will just go right here. So, right off the bat, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Don't know who you are. Don't know who you are. Or you, or you, or you. I think there is a yellow one that I want to pair with them. So that she doesn't get lost from her multicolored sisters. There you are. Uh, so I was right here. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. <laughs> mm. 
I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, goodness. All right, back to it. Who else sucks? I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Or you. Or you. <laughs> or you. And I don't know who you are either. And I th think that's about everyone I don't know. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, B. Real cute. I liked her challenge. Uh, I think this guy had, like, a weird challenge or, like, he just gave it to you or maybe it was a battle. Either way, I didn't really like him. This is the worst version of Oak. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I thought it was neat that these guys came back from the 6th gen game. Oh, I don't know who this is either. Um... But other than that, I don't really have strong opinions about them one way or another. No strong opinions. Hate her design. Hate her design. Hate her, his design. <laughs> Love his design. Hate his design. It's more his hair, if anything. He just looks like he has like a weird pinecone poop head. I hate this guy's shit-eating grin so much. Uh, she's a babe. Did not care for Gen 6 protagonist. You know what? Let me start with protagonists. I think uh, that'll be kind of fun. I'll do protagonists and rivals. So Gen 7 rival, pretty good. Um, no. Yikes. I thought this was a huge improvement from what we had in uh gen 6 uh but not yeah it, it was a huge improvement from gen 6 rival wise yikes but um all right you know he was he was competitive shauna is so fucking cute she belongs in b lily i don't know if she actually does anything she can join her brother <laughs> uh sun and moon kids we're pretty fucking good. It's it's hard to really top that. Uh, also pretty cute. I l actually liked her totem challenge. This one was a huge improvement from a six as well. Oof. Uh, this one was really damn cute. I did not care for him. I thought he was kind of boring. Uh, okay, better than I thought, but you know, not as b not as good as one would hope. Uh, I liked him. I thought he was fine. I played as as that character model. Uh, rival, also a fucking yikes. Like, I thought it was neat. What, so let me just quick tangent. Gen 6 was pretty neat in the sense that you had all these different rivals and friends to travel, quote-unquote, alongside with. But, they weren't good. <laughs> Save for, like, Shauna and Serena, or, or whatever. These two dudes suck. <laughs> the main dude protagonist sucks. 
They just were not on, like they poured everything they had into the professor of that generation and then every other male character <laughs> suffered because of it. All right, back to it. We're doing uh, rivals and I'm gonna stop doing uh, Gen 6 people because um, I just realized that a lot of them are, are, are quote unquote for lack of a better uh, reference point, gym leaders and not rivals. So I'll, I'll get back to them, but you know, uh, Bianca, I didn't really care for her. Honestly, I don't really remember Bianca or Sharon. They, they, they started that whole, whole multiple rivals thing in gen three. Uh, but I don't know. Gen 5 is like one of my legit fa favorites. Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 5 are all like some of my favorites. Now let's see. Welts was a rival or main character. I hate this kid's hair. But not as much as I hate this kid's hair. <laughs> Like, even before Gen 6 started, they're like, Hey, what if we just gave characters that you have to look at a lot stupid fucking hair? Rose, on the other hand, pretty damn good. In fact, there we go. Black and white guys are fucking A. Uh, let's see. Who else on this list? Oh, original Chris. I think, I think this one is Crystal. And the other one is Chris. So let me see if I can find her. No, I can't. No, I don't know what happened to her. Oh, that is also a person I don't know. I keep breaking all of my own rules. Uh, I thought this Gen 1 version reboot girl female character was not great. Like, even at the time when that came out, I felt like her design was outdated. Uh, oh, main boy. Uh, yeah, we'll put you... Uh, yeah, you're up there. Let's see. I really do think that I I had to have missed a couple or something. Oh, uh, nope, here's... I, th I think this one is Chris. And Chris is really cute. There's Brock. Let's see who else. Oh, rival. Pretty damn good rival. I don't know who this is. Is that Bill? Uh, I'll put Bill here. <laughs> if that's the only art they have of Bill. That's fine. I hated, I, so, with the addition of his hat not being his hair, being two-toned hair, and his fucking shitty, like, this is my everyday sportswear, I, I hated this new look. I like the, I like the tan rep, representation for, uh, for tan people, <clears throat> i.e., uh, me when I'm wearing skin, but, uh, I, I hate his design so goddamn much. May is a fucking cutie. She belongs up here. Was that it for... Nope! There's also Wally. Who... You could probably bully until he falls over. 
Uh, then there's Barry, who annoys the shit out of me. Dawn isn't very... She's just like, I'm gonna go catch Pokemon. And then, um... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Uh, like, Brian? Brent? Yeah, I've never cared for his design either. <laughs> so three, four, five, all fucking shitties. Eh, wait, hold on. Where is he? Where is he? Six. Three, four, five, six. Just all, in fact, <laughs> I, I really don't like that design. If they gave him like fluffy hair. As default, that would have been better. If they gave him any hair, that would be better. If they made his hair two different colors, that would be better. If they gave him a haircut, that would be better. I just don't like most of these characters. Okay, um... Was that it? No, no. Not quite yet. Red and green. Or blue. Uh. Pretty fucking up there. And. I'd give him a C. I'd give him a higher thing, but they didn't really do anything to really. Change up his design in a cool modern way to, as they did with red. I guess there, there has to be like a consistency for that. But. I just. I didn't really care for it. Um, painter bitch. Kinda lame. Grandma. Kinda lame. This guy. Lame as shit. This guy. Yikes. I'm gonna- you know what? Next is all the yikes characters. Every character that makes me go yikes. Uh, yikes. I've always hated her hair. I would do anything for her to have better hair. Because I didn't hate this character, I just hate her hair. Yikes. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else is a yikes? You are a definite yikes, sir. You are a different. You are definitely a yikes. You are definitely a yikes. You are too much. All right. You need to chill the fuck out. Um, he's kind of a yikes. I don't think he's as much of a yikes. Um. You are a yikes, because fuck your hair. Fuck your whole one-eye thing. Uh... No, you're not a yikes. I said yikes characters only. This guy is a yikes, though, because of his fucking beard. This guy is a yikes because of his fucking everything. <laughs> Pretty yikes for me, my guy. I, You're trying to be a cat, I think. And that's just not working for you. You are a yikes. <laughs> Who else is a yikes? Just how big you are upsets me. And it's not even it's not even the same big as this. This is this guy's supposed to be like fucking 19 feet tall or some shit. You're just like not only are you tall, but yet shorter than him, but you're also fucking you just have so much gains. Like, he's interesting because he has, like, fucking long arms and shit. And it's like, I've lived forever, but not really. Don't, shh, shh, don't tell any, shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, shh. And I'm just like, okay, bye. I think that's it for Yikes characters. Now I'm gonna do, uh, gym leaders. I like this chick. She's got a lot of stees. I like him too. I like him too. I like his, like, his, like, in the, 
I like his grin, and also, like, in the anime, he has, like, fucking, like, a million meows. Uh, mommy energy. I guess she's not a gym leader. Hold on. You know what? Just stay there. This guy is a, is a challenge dude, I think. Uh, I like him well enough. He looks a little scruffy. Uh, yes, please. You know what? S is reserved for people that I'm like, that I'm looking at respectfully. Um, who else is a, uh, you're a person. You're a B. I like, I like you, but not enough. And I think it's the color choices they chose for you. If they got better choices, I think I would have liked you more. Like, I don't like those pinks they're, they're using. I think they could have used some better pinks. Uh, you, I look at respectfully, ma'am. Uh, I love this fucking dude. He's my favorite. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're you're a person too. You're a little baby. You're also a little baby. Why'd they put too many babies together? Um No, you're not. You're you're a fucking elite four person. Uh yes, you are pretty cool. You are alright. You gotta have the quiz gyms, and his is alright. I fucking love this old guy, too. <laughs> uh, Karina is pretty cute. And... I look at you respectfully, ma'am. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, you're fucking lame as shit. I think he's an Elite Four, and I think she's a Gym Leader. Or are they both Elite Four? Fuck. I think they're both Elite Four, so I'll leave them alone. These four are definitely Gym Leaders, so... Unfortunately, all of these guys were not created equally. <laughs> you are an F. You... RC, you are B, and you, sir, are an A. Was he a challenger? I want to say he was a challenger. One of those island dudes. Um, B. Kind of lame. Oh, I forgot about you. You're a baby, too. Where's all the babies? I'm gonna put you next to the other babies. Um... Respectfully. You are an Elite Four. I think you're an Elite Four, too. You... I look at respectfully. I think an Elite Four. I think an Elite Four. I don't know. In fact, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Respectfully. Oh, I forgot about Iris. She's also a gym leader, but she's also... She's both. Um... You know what? She's a gym leader. I like her, her vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I think she's, she's killing it with that princess fucking... Gym leader shit. Uh, not a respectfully, but he's up there. Mm, no, no, honey, please. Respectfully. Who else? Uh, this is. Why are there so many babies? Okay. Um. Are you a gym leader? No. You are, though. They made you the twice. They copy-pasted you. <laughs> Respectfully. You 
are lame. Pretty... I don't know who you are. You go over here. Did I get all the gym challengers to... Oh, I didn't even get you. Uh, respectfully. Well, it's just a gym leader type character. I'm putting you next to... Yeah, you two need to be next to each other. Um, you are a gym leader, and while I don't hate you, I don't love you either, so... B. I think all of you are... Elite. You know, you're the Battle Tower boys. Um... Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Blaine... I don't look at him respectfully, but I respect him if you get, if you get my drift. Brock, also up there. Uh, respectfully. Just because he has like that femboy twink sort of thing going on. Uh, I could get along with him. I think. I think that's the extent. Respectfully. Who else is a gym leader? You're a gym leader. You're kind of boring, but I'll put you in B. Respectfully. You are also quite much a baby. I think you're a... a, a... I don't know about Jasmine. I think she's super underage. In fact, I think Bugsy might be. I think a couple of these might be. I think you might be. Maybe Faulkner. I think everybody else is good, though. You're an Elite Four. You're a gym leader and an Elite Four, but... I don't... I never really liked you, so you go in D. Um... Hey, fuck you. Just because you're not a gym leader, but you did make Pokeballs for me, and you suck. Lieutenant Surge uh, sucks as well. <laughs> He's not fun. Misty, respectfully. Flannery, respectfully. Oh, fuck. I forget her name, but respectfully. <laughs> I think his name is Morty. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Grandpa. Dead Pokemon. Oh, jeez. Okay, um... Well, it's you. You're also a gym leader. <sighs> You're kind of a boring old man character. It's Sabrina. Respectfully. These babies go and see, because that's where they belong. Uh, you're a gym leader. You're not respectfully, but you're in A, because I like your style. Norman goes in D. That there's. <sighs> uh, uh, respectfully. I think you're an elite four sort of dude. You're also a gym leader, but your steez is fucking lame. <laughs> You're up there. I've always liked... Let me just put all these guys together. <laughs> My three favorite old men. Oh, you know what? Have I finished gym leaders? No, you're still... Uh, you know what? Respectfully. Okay, we're done with gym leaders. Uh, I guess we'll do Elite Four people now. And champions. So, respectfully. Um, why don't we throw professors in there too? So I can respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. I 
man, people are messaging me like crazy today. I don't know why. What'd I say? Uh, elite core and, and professors and champions. Respectfully. Uh, lame as shit. Fuck you. <laughs> However, this boy. No, he's he's a team member. You know what? I already grabbed him. Respectfully. <laughs> I don't care if she's somebody's probably grandma. Respectfully. This man, however, he does not earn my respect. Neither does this man. <laughs> he belongs in E. Right next to... There's gotta be someone I don't like. I don't like Professor Rowan. <laughs> Professor Oak is alright. Professor Elm... I don't even see him. There he is. Oh, I, I, my pockets. I also like this guy because he reminds me of my uncle. Uh, he needs to be with the other old men. These are these. Are, I want an elite four of just these old men. Electric grass, fighting and dragon. Perfect Elite Four. Perfect Elite Four. Right here. This lineup. In fact, these two are part of the same generation, which is a little bit hard to believe because this guy's so more so much more dynamic than this guy. Uh what I say? Elite Four champion and professors, okay. <clears throat> Uh, you're the assistant, but I looked at you respectfully, and respectfully. You're, I don't think you're Elite Four, but you definitely are the champion, so respectfully, respectfully. You're a baby, you need to be with all the other babies. Just because I'm tired of looking at your fucking face. Uh, Bruno is boring as shit. So he goes in D. Uh, this guy seems alright. I'll put him in B. For bugs. Which is probably the trainer type. The professor belongs in S. You're an elite four, but I hate your hair, so... You go to B. You're a champion. You go to B. And so does this guy, who I think is Claire's cousin. Um. No, we're not doing teams yet. Uh. Oh, you belong in the respectfully category. You can go to the respectfully category too. Who's left? <laughs> I think you're an elite four dude, but you kind of suck. You, on the other hand, look rad as shit. Respectfully. I ain't got no time for grandmas like you. Uh, no, I think you're just an extra. I don't think you're actually the champion or anything. No, wait, he is, isn't he? You beat him, right? I think he is. Uh, B. I like his steez, but I hate his hair, so he goes and C. <laughs> his fucking style, baby. Is that it? I guess all that's left are teams and extra characters. So... E... 
D. Oh. Respectfully. Not a respectfully, but honorable mention. Not into. Never have been. Pretty cute, but not, you know, again. Uh, respectfully, because she does that stupid little pose. I like her pose for some reason. It's stupid. Fucking ancient grandpa there. These guys can go and be. In fact... They do it like that, right? This looks like the better version of the one grandma. Where is she? Right here. She looks like the better version of her. <laughs> um. Respectfully. Disrespectfully. Disrespectfully. Uh, up here. Respectfully. This boy is a C. This boy is a definite... You know what? Yeah, he, respectfully. I like him enough. B. Okay, here's the Elite Four and the champion of old men. <laughs> I think he's lame as shit. I love this guy's steez. <laughs> lame. Better. Lame. Pretty cool. James is an A. Jesse needs to step up her game by changing that fucking nasty ass hair. Uh, he goes in the same category. This guy sucks because of his fucking wetsuit. I he has his redesign is better, but his wetsuit shit is lame as fuck. Get rid of that. Respectfully. Respectfully. Way, way, way better than the other guy. But I'm actually going to drop him down one because I just remembered he wears shorts and a lab coat. Fuck this guy. Lame as shit. Not cool. Iconic villain. All right. Here's my f thirst trap fucking tier. Here's a lot of characters I really like. Here's some characters I kind of like. Here's some characters I'm okay with. They could have done better. Not great. God awful. And I don't know who any of these other guys are. But I'm going to rank them on appearance real quick. So shit, shit, shit. Shit. Uh, cute-ish. I'll put you in B. In fact, I think their whole quartet stays together. I don't think they ever really leave each other. I don't know who this is, but he looks lame as shit. He looks like another lame oak, so he's going in E. He looks all right. She belongs to all the babies. Where are they? There they are. Uh, hey, I kind of like what she's got going on. This guy looks like a lesser Wally. <laughs> I'm kind of into what she's doing here. F. Mm -mm. F. Mm -mm. This guy's an E. I think this is a chick. She goes in D. She can go in B. He can go in B. This guy will go in C. And I think this is another baby. There. Done. That was like four different lists, so... There should be something for everybody. <laughs> One last time, Thirst Trap, characters I like, characters I... No, Thirst Trap, characters I love, characters I like, characters I kinda like, characters I think could be better, 
Characters that suck. God awful. Alright. And uh, I think I'll be wrapping it up here. Bye.